Oma Mira from the States, and I apologize for keeping you waiting. Okay, salam alaikum. Salam to Allah. Um, Sheikh, I have a question, please. Um, my question is, uh, I know when we go to go give somebody condolences when their family passed away, we're not allowed to sit down and eat the food and stuff like that. But in the case, whenever you go and they force to give you the food, even though you know you know it's wrong, but they want you to take the food, what do you do in that? Okay. That's my question. That's all. Yes, okay. thank you. Uh, I will answer you, inshallah. So, Um Amira says, I know that eating and drinking when we go to places to condole those who were or who have lost a loved one is prohibited. But what do we do when they offer us food? Well, this is a misconception, Um Amira. Eating and drinking is halal. There's nothing wrong in that. What is not permissible is to gather on food when there is mourning. When you are giving your condolences to a family and they invite people for a feast. This is what's not permissible. The companion of, of the Prophet ﷺ used to say, we used to consider gathering for condolences and preparation of food for the guests, part of wailing, niyaha. So I hear of a family that is close to me, dear friends, I know them, their relatives, whatever. They lost their son. So I go to them and I give my condolences. If the meeting is set to be at 5 to 6 p.m. for three days, this, this is considered to be joining and meeting for condolence and this is not permissible. You can give your condolences when you see them in the masjid or you see them at the market or you see them at work or at school or you see them on the streets. Whenever you meet them, you don't have to go to them. But what so many Muslims do is that they dedicate the time between Maghrib and Isha because it's short and they sit with lights on top of their heads and servants serving coffee and, and tea. And maybe they hire a person to recite the Quran. And whenever there are intervals between the Quran and he takes a pause for a couple of minutes, people who are sitting, they stand up and they give their condolences and they leave. These are all bid'ahs, innovations. So this is an innovation. And the innovation that you're not supposed to participate in is also when they give you a call and say, listen, after Isha prayer, we are serving food for the guests. So you are welcome to stay. Some people say, don't leave before Isha, stay, we're, we're serving food. This is what is not permissible. The food itself is halal. The rice, the meat, the biryani, it's all halal for you to eat or to take. But to join in such a congregation or in, sh in such uh, a gathering is what uh, is not permissible and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.